Ellery here with a quick demonstration on how to use the Great Real Estate plugin that, with WordPress. I am logged into the dashboard for WordPress and before I add the listing here, the very first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and add in uh, the contents to the gallery. And I'm going to click Add Gallery Images after I've opened the Gallery tab using the triangle here on the left hand side. and it's going to uh, bring me to the upload thing, but I have to create the gallery first. So I'm going to go to Add New Gallery. New Test Listing is what I'm going to call it. Click Add Gallery. That'll put us back into the upload images where we need to be. And I need to make sure I select that gallery and then I'm going to click Browse. And I have set up some pictures. I have resized these down to being only 1200 pixels across. That is absolutely plenty. That's as wide as the website, uh, the web screen browser if you need it. And it doesn't uh, take huge, huge things like a, a two megabyte uh, digital photo straight out of the camera. Okay, I'm going to click Upload. Alright, they're all uploaded. Now I'm going to click uh, Manage Gallery. And I want to make sure that I have one of the pictures chosen to be my, my first, uh, my primary gallery image. It defaults uh, to the first one you uploaded, but if you want to have a different one, you can do that. Now if you see a time when you upload uh, images and there is no thumbnail, because the thumbnail is what's going to be used if we have one of these chosen for a featured image, if you click buttons next to those items, then up here in the actions, set create new thumbnails, and then click apply, and this is the default. It should create those, yes it is, okay. All right, so we have thumbnails for all of the all of the uh, gallery items. All right, now we have the pictures all set up for this. Now I would recommend just uh, to backtrack a little bit here. When you set the, the gallery settings, uh, the title of the gallery isn't an SEO thing, so that might actually be best to put your uh, MLS ID um, as the title. That would give you some reference uh, when you're setting up the listings or using the pictures for other things. Next, we're going to do uh, just a couple of notches up here from the gallery setting is the real estate button. That's the great real estate pack. Go ahead and click the little down triangle and click on listings. And then at the bottom here we're going to click add a listing. Alrighty. Now the title here, this is a marketing type of a title. You definitely want to enter a good uh, sales title here. New Listing demo test. Uh, this should. This is where you put your good copy. This is your sales copy. This is the. It's in a great neighborhood. It's with great schools. This won't last long. This is. Uh, you can put more information about the property than it then goes in the fields that we have to choose from. So, great sales copy goes here. All right. Now over here on the right hand side, we want the parent has to be hot buys if we want it to end up uh, with the hot buys in the hot buys featured and in order to bring up the uh, fields that we want to enter in all the details about the product the property and we want this to be listing page redux all right you don't have to worry about these go ahead and click save draft all right now once we click save draft what you'll see is down here at the bottom the real estate property information box came up and that was because we clicked the hot buys uh, and the listing page redux so it knows that we need these at this point. It won't show them up when you're doing other pages or posts which is a nice feature. Alright, most properties I'm going to assume are going to be featured when we first add them and then also when you first add a property obviously it's going to be for sale. Now when the sale is pending sold uh, on those you can actually add those. My understanding is we're not using them for rent so leave those alone but for sale goes here and then the list price and then you click use the little date picker and click a date and this is the bl brief blurb about the property 
and then the straight address. Uh, let's go ahead and use that one. And state and zip code. And this would be a fake MLS number. I'm putting completely fake information in here. Now, the difference here, this is, I guess a realtor will know this, uh, square feet, living space, and total square feet. If you have different numbers that you're going to put in there, uh, go ahead. Acres would be in whole numbers. And then under the features, if you click just once on each of these, it won't let you select more than one. If you hold down the control key on your keyboard, you can actually uh, select more than, more than one item. All right, and now we're going to click the choose the gallery and that was our new test listing gallery that we choose. If you have videos update uploaded you would be able to choose those there. Same with uh, downloads that might come uh, be attached to that. If you had a PDF of a flyer or something you could have that uh, downloaded. The same with the panorama. If you would have a panorama in there we do have the plugins installed but they're not activated because I don't think we're ready for panoramas yet. Alright, we have all these fields filled out get latitude longitude. Now you can check to see if this is correct by clicking on that. It'll show you where Google is mapping it. All right, and we should be good to go with publish. As long as I didn't miss anything, we should be fine. Now I'm going to go ahead and open this up in a new tab and click on the Hotwise page. And we can see that it is plunked itself in here. I, for some reason, uh, it doesn't like the commas. That's what I did. All right. No commas in the price. It just needs to be whole numbers. I guess it's going to format it correctly. Um, I'll have to look at that. So we can see where all of our feet, all of our information ended up here. The new field demo listing demo test, the address, uh, it's for sale. If it were sold, we actually would have a complete another section down here, uh, showing the sold listings. You could take them off the featured listing as well. Uh, that's the brief blurb, and here's the data that we added. And then we can click Read More. That brings us to the listing. And it's putting all the information here, including the MLS, the address. We have the slideshow here. All the nice uh, features about the uh, uh, information about that, market stats for the area, financing, all the little goodies are automatically entered in there based on having completed that uh, that little form. It's pulling all of that based on the, the other plugin, which is the Great Real Estate Pack. And that's it. That's how you enter in a listing um, using the Great Real Estate Pack in WordPress.